welcome back to my channel. Is that how you intro it? Is there a right or wrong way? No, I was just asking how you intro it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a video with my good friend Lucas. Um, it's his first time on my YouTube channel. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm fine, I just don't know what is going on. <laughs> um, today we're going to do a video that we're going to like, you guys wrote in questions and we're going to answer your dating and relationship questions. I haven't um, looked at these questions yet. Yeah, I've only like skimmed over them. Okay. But I think that makes it more fun. Okay. And we're going to answer it from, I guess, like a boy and a girl's perspective, which could be interesting. You've also sent in some ics that we're going to uncover. So let's get into it. <laughs> do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? No, you, you go you go first. But like we can both answer we, it. I reckon it's better if we both answer it. Yeah, we'll both yeah. answer it. Okay, here's a good one. I'd just like to clarify we're not dating. I just saw so many of those. Yeah, we're not dating. We're not dating. Does a girl's body count matter to guys? I'm in a predicament with this one because okay. it's like, it depends on has she never had a boyfriend before, um, how old is she, this and that. Because if if she's had a boyfriend for her entire like her entire life basically, and then all of a sudden her body count is just fucking ridiculous, then yeah, it matters. But if she's been single her whole life and never really had to focus on one person, then it's kind of like a bit more explainable. Um, and then it depends on like age, like. But like, what if she was in relationships for like a huge chunk of her life, and like finally she's single for the first time, and she's just like having fun, and like this is such like a. It's such a controversial yeah. thing. If, if a guy it, has it, a. It doesn't. It doesn't matter unless you make it a problem. I think is a good way to put it. <laughs> There's girls taking Instagram photos at the front of my apartment. Um, okay, so I think I get what you're saying. I think that. If it's in someone's nature to just like have meaningless sex all the time and sleep with heaps of guys and like not really be bothered by it then like i can see why a guy wouldn't be attracted to someone like that to be in a relationship it also just with. depends on it depends on the guys like it, it it honestly depends on it depends on the guys like it <clears> but, <throat> but I, like it, some guys they care some guys don't like some like right and it's the same with like girls. I'm sure. I'm sure like some girls who care for guys are high body count. Some people don't. It's just like human nature. It's like preference is preference. Mm. Like at the end of the day, it's like some people like people have a type of a person based on their looks. It doesn't mean they have a problem with the other people. They just have a preference. Yeah. You know what I mean? Meaning like it it has evolved over the years. I oh feel yeah. Like no, women massively. now with like contraception, like it's scientifically proven that women are having more sex for pleasure than ever before. Whether it's whereas before it was like like dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's like it's such a double standard because it's just like it is a double standard. It's such a huge double standard. That's why I get defensive on it. But then, to be fair, like I don't really like when I know that someone slept with a huge number of people. It does make me feel a certain way. I can't really like. But it's, it's also like how they as like, in a guy, not girl. But, not but, but it's also like how do they act around other people? Like how they got. I, I, maybe body count doesn't matter. Maybe I'm just under the interpretation that they act a completely different way if they do. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I just think like because if, if they're if they're like if they're with you and they're all for you like it shouldn't really make a difference yeah i think if they're like a com i think what what it gives is like maybe oh, commitment, commitment issues. issues yeah but like if that person doesn't actually have commitment issues then i don't see it being a problem yeah, but like but also i just or think it's possibility of cheating because like they could get bored with like the one person which yeah. once again comes back to commitment issues yeah but maybe just maybe maybe it's like the whole thing behind commitment issues like you want one per like it, it's just so I, I find it more attractive like it's a, it's a standout thing if a person like you just I get an instant feeling that this person is a hundred can a hundred commit to you some dude is hitting on the girls, taking photos. That's so fucking typical. Can you guys do it? That many in at once. How many times have you fucked on the first date? I've never. I haven't. I've never gone no, on a I date. Thinking, I was thinking about many. I don't date that often. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel like our generation isn't like they're not good at taking people on dates. It's just like want to come over. Um. Do you prefer single or relationship life? Oh. That's a good one, huh? Honestly, I like each one for different reasons. No, I'm a relationship guy, 100%, but mm -hmm. also I, I I, think in the right relationship, you should appreciate the same things you do being single, just while having someone there. 
You can't just do what you want. No, no, not do what I want. Which is what I love about when I'm single. I don't have to worry about anyone else's feelings. It's like I can be selfish and like. If one person's got money and one person doesn't, it does make it hard to live the it same lifestyle. It causes a huge rift. Huge rift. Because obviously there's other persons like having to sacrifice things from their personal life. Yeah. To then satisfy you. That's that's like where relationships get unhealthy. But take away all that negative. Yeah. You have a happy relationship with another person that understands that you're not going to go out doing something that you wouldn't want them doing. And they you're, they know that they... Re yeah. <laughs> they know you respect them. Enough to not do something shady, then it's chilled. It's so calm. I'm enjoying my single season of just like no, focusing I'm... on myself. But you, I go through moments of like being like, oh, it'd be so nice to have someone to come home to. So nice to like call someone and like have that like significant other, you know. But I'm not going to just like be with someone for that reason, you know. Where's the chicken wings? <laughs> what? I'm setting up, bro. Okay. Oh, they're wings. Fuck, they are wings. I thought they were tenders. That's so annoying. Is it okay to go through your like boyfriend or girlfriend's phone while you're in a relationship? Or is that not respecting privacy? It's not respecting privacy, no. but also have the conversation that... Like, I've always been kind of alright with the person going through my phone, as long as I'm there. Because it's just like... Because if you go through someone's phone, you're bound to find something. Because if you go looking yeah. for it, you take things out of context. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find something and it's gonna get into your head and you're gonna find something. So you need the person there. You need to go through the phone if you have to. I always choose like not to go against it, but then again, it's just like if it's gonna make the other person comfortable, then that's that. And of course, you don't want the other person just overthinking the entire time because that's just a downward spiral. But it's like you want the other person there <coughs> to explain maybe if you find something and then it's up to you whether to believe it or not, I guess. I probably wouldn't go through. Young me did, like when I was younger. I definitely went through my boyfriend's phones at the time, but that's because like I had a, like I had an inkling they were cheating and they were, and I caught them out every time. But now that I'm older, like if I think that they're cheating, I will just kind of ask them about it. Or if I'm feeling insecure in any sort of way, like I'll just talk about it. I don't think there's a need for me to like go through their phone because if I don't trust them, then I shouldn't be with them. Um, so I think that's kind of like my take on it now being like a mature adult Unless I it's think... like someone and a girl's name popped up on Say we're dating and a girl's name popped up on your phone that I was like a bit sus on and I've expressed that to you before I'd be like I maybe like why is Sarah texting you and then you'd be like oh say what it is and then I would kind of probably expect you to be like see it's just this like it's nothing Yeah but I don't ever want to like ask to go through someone's phone. I don't want to go through it because I just feel like that is like a bit of, yeah, breach of privacy. Both girlfriends I've ever had went through my phone. Yeah, but you're young and the girls you date are young. But it's, it's also- I did it that age too. If you, if the, you got to understand that if you go looking for something, you're going to find it. Not necessarily in like a bad context too. It's like you're going to find stuff, conversations that they may have had with people that are so far out of context that have other meanings and further context behind it. Or you could find conversations that he's had with, or she's had with someone before you guys dated and then you're gonna then let that affect you even though it shouldn't, you know what I mean? I remember seeing that like back in the day, I'd be like, oh my God, like he used to flirt with this girl and I would find information that like shouldn't be for my eyes. It's mm. not even to do with the relationship. I wouldn't even want anyone to see conversations with like my sister because it's just private. It's not like anything bad, but it's like, I don't like want, Anyone seen my conversations with my family or yeah, you just, anything? Yeah, like it's just my know. personal conversations. Like, like it might not still be good, but it might have more. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You seen? It was a video back in the day, and um, it's this chick who's got like grease all over her face, and she's like. This ain't no lip gloss, it's chicken grease. And she like shows a big KFC bucket. <laughs> wow, look at those lips, girl. What you got on? Some lip gloss or something? Hmm. No, this is not lip gloss. This is chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's because you have a big mouth. You do have a big mouth. <laughs> Fuck. How do you stay secure while dating an influencer who goes parties, goes to events without without you? Yeah. I'm guessing. I've never dated an influencer, but 
people like boys and girls are just like, oh my god, they're insecure, like talking about their partner, like they're all their friends talking about partners. They're just like, oh, they're so insecure. But are you making them feel insecure though? Yeah. Like, is it you? Are they actually insecure or are you making them feel insecure? Like, when what you're you at doing? that party, are you checking in? Are you saying, hey, yeah. how are you? Like, sending them, like, little Yeah, like, making sure that you're thinking about them. Like, it's just like, they might be a little bit insecure, but are you helping that? Like, yeah. are you, like, what are you doing to help them feel insecure? Help them feel secure? Yeah. Relationships nowadays are fucking shit. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta go above and beyond to help the other person feel secure. Because you see so it? much more on the internet of people's lives than ever before. Like, even if you break up with an ex, right? Back Back in the day before the internet, you know, and social media and any sort of app, you the only way to like see them would be to literally physically run into them. Yeah. Or to hear like someone else run into them and then they tell you, or like maybe you could text them. But like there was no such thing as like seeing them tagged in things and like seeing even even if you don't follow your ex, I didn't follow my ex for so long and I would see him in people's stories all the time because like we had mutual friends and then No, I'm so glad I don't have any mutual know, friends with any of my exes. You see what they're up to without even wanting to, but it's just naturally when you have like mutual friends or whatever, it's just like you shouldn't that's not how it sh like that's not normal. You shouldn't have to see your ex's life after you decided to go your own ways, you yeah. know. Favorite sex positions? Sex positions? Okay, well, position. Do you want to say yours or do you want me to go first? No, you go first. Well, I have two. Okay. So, my first, my favorite, I like, uh, okay. <laughs> this is such a juicy question. I've never, I've never said a question like this online. Really? Yeah. Mm. Okay. The reasoning for my two is like, one of them is for me. Like, I like- Are you a doggy girl? No, not really. Like, I will do it, but it's not my favorite. Right. Um, I like being on top for, like, me, because that's how I make myself feel good. But, <laughs> but then I do love just a good old missionary, like, eye contact, like, yeah. the guy, like, you know, having the control. It's underrated. I just like the eye contact. Yeah. The eye contact and you just, you like... You can kiss. You can say things. <laughs> You can do things with your hands. You can say things. <laughs> you can say things in any position. Yeah, we're kind of weird talking to the back of the head. <laughs> That's more than just two positions. Fucking look at me when I talk to you. <laughs> Fucking so rude. I don't, I don't, I don't like doggy. I re okay. I, like, I, I'm really That's not nice. Bad. Like, I, it's not for me. Like, I don't get anything from it. It feels like the most degrading sex position as a woman. Guys talk about, like, this not kind really. of stuff ever. Not really. That's why I think girls love oh. these kind of videos because like they get an insight into like a guy's brain because guys never talk about it. Yeah, well like I'm I'm not opposed to talking about it. I just like guys aren't really talking about it. Like if guys will talk about it every now and then, but it won't be an entire conversation. It'll be like a guy will say something and another guy will say something. It won't be like an yeah. entire conversation that yeah. dedicated to that. If a guy keeps making sex jokes with you, do you think they just want sex? Yes. Oh, not true. I've been with people in the past and cracked a fuck kind of sex jokes, but I... I was just comfortable with them and liked them, but I'm also just quite a sexual person. Yeah. I mean, like it, 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 I would never make sex jokes with someone unless I was wanting to sleep with them, but like, I don't really do that anyway. That's not really me. No, like, I'll crack sex jokes, it means like I'm into you, but also like, it, it depends on the guy, because like some guys can just do that to kind of like, make it less awkward if they were going to crack a move or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're kind of like breaking the ice by. Yeah, like they're kind of like slow. They kind of like slowly breaking the ice a little bit. Throwing it out there, seeing what your like reaction is gonna be. Yeah, they're like if because if, if you react badly, then they're like oh. But if you kind of like, so, I've done that before. I definitely I've think that, that they're doing it because they want to have sex with you. Yeah, I've done that. Whether before. they want something more than that, like maybe who knows? But like they definitely want to like. It depends how they're doing it, like and how like how intense the sex jokes are. Like, one of the icks that just came up was when they have food on their face and don't realize that I just had food on my face and didn't realize. <laughs> Why do boys move on so fast? I'm gonna say why first. I think why. I, just, I, like, I don't. Out for five minutes. We go. Yeah, we go. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's valid. That's so valid. <laughs> um, valid. I think they move on fast because <clears throat> they like to avoid their emotions at all costs. So like. It's just some middle. guys, by the way. We're not generalizing, dudes. Yeah, th this is like my take on my experience from my relationships. The guys. Oh, boyfriends kind of move on really fast. <laughs> they all cheat too. <laughs> In my experience, like they kind of do everything to avoid their feelings, so they 
become super social they go out and drink they have sex with girls like they'll do anything to distract like what's going on inside of them and then they obviously get there's also a huge sign of immaturity by the way yeah huge sign of immaturity and then they always get they always get to a point where obviously they can only run from it for so long and like maybe that excitement and like all of that's worn off and then they're starting to like miss their ex being me and then they like end up reaching out and like then they go through their phase of being like really down and like you know going through the emotions so um yeah that's my take on it with my past experiences from the ages of like 16 to 20 something right 28 i've never moved i've never moved on quickly in half a relationship but could your ex perceived that you had moved on quickly, even though you didn't? Like, could they have thought that by like maybe? Well, probably because I'm just like I'm a busy guy. Like, and like because my life's on social media, they probably just don't see that. I'm um, like, actually no, I, 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 I yeah, but like they they don't see like the raw emotion behind it, but they might see me like out having fun. Yeah. But really. Well, why do you think guys? I'm in really general attached to my emotions. Because like a lot do. Immaturity. And you would have seen Immaturity, it. ego. Yeah, um, big, ego is a big part. They can't like bear to like they they need the satisfaction and the attention from another woman and like know that like he wasn't the issue. So like getting another girl might be like, oh like other girls want me, so that one is the issue. And so it's like it's not me, it's yeah. you. Like, also like the like scaredness around facing the emotions because like I feel like you I don't know. Like, I think it's more subconscious than that. I don't think they. No, I, but I guys don't, think don't have guys. the support like girls do. Like we like. We'll invite our friends over, they'll cry with us, or like sit there and like we'll just cry. And I had no about support it. going through my second break. I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Guys don't have the support girls do no. a lot of the time, so I feel mm. like they're less likely to want to face their emotions because it is scary facing them alone. And I wouldn't want to face my yeah, but they're own. not they're not thinking like oh I have all these emotions. It's like let's well, not. No, that's like obviously like. You know what I mean? Like it's, but that's it's, how it's, it's been drilled so into them like since they were little. It's like you can't really like. No, I, I think I think I think it's immaturity. I, I think it's immaturity and ego it depends on the guy. Like if he's a decent guy then he'll sit in his emotions and kind of like kind of be, 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 be super self by yourself yeah but it's gonna happen I know but that's why it's I'm saying happen. they that's could be why they avoid it because they don't want to face those emotions because it is scary doing it by yourself and guys naturally don't have a support system like women do how do you remain in the present in a relationship and not overthink about the future I think like there's no point living in a time that doesn't exist anymore like that's just going to take away from the present moment and I think don't get like so set on being like obviously see a future with them but like don't be set on that that like you can't, like start planning your whole life around this person like I think that that person should just slot into your life and like you grow together or you grow apart whatever ends up happening i don't think you should like be stressing over the future because that could change in a month a week a year like yeah literally anything could happen like you got to realize that like life is going to keep moving no matter what you do you have to just go with the flow trust your path and trust that's what's meant for you like yeah but also enjoy the time that's present because that could yeah. lead to a future yeah rather leading or like thinking about the future could stop Destroy you from having present. a present yeah agreed should we get into the Icks? Yeah, we can get to the icks. Oh, I saw one before. Someone said their biggest ick is when they have a Velcro wallet. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. When he has a flip phone case with a card holder, it's giving like. Even when a girl has that, I'm like. Giving dad vibes. It's giving mum or dad vibes. Prefer to give or receive? Like love? Head. Oh. Okay. Um, that sh that shows that shows a lot by that. <laughs> I I will admit I prefer. Do you to prefer receive. Do you prefer to give or receive? Receive. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer to give. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Um, who pays on the first date? Whoever asks. Yeah, I agree. It de it, de it depends. It it depends but on the situation. I think the moral standpoint is whoever asks the other person out on a date should pay. Or at least offer. I think you should offer anyway, really. Like you should offer to split anyway yeah. based on human decency. Yeah. Based, like you like never expect to be paid for. I'm so against that. That's like yeah. a one edge thing. My ick is when men order the same drink as me. Like, do you really want a glass of sub? That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's all the questions. Oh, I've been lying down. That we're gonna do. The camera died and it's yeah, literally the camera like died and it's now four hours like, later. Yeah. And it's like almost dark time. Night time. It's always dark time. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.
Um, Thanks for sending in the answers. Yeah, thank you for sending all well, the questions. The question. <laughs> this is why you should do the outro. We're gonna do another video soon. Send in ideas if you want us to do more, because um, we can even make it like a little series. Unless people fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fully cover it.